uh, my topic is on <coughs> the Chinese translation of some Bakit uh, critical history. Uh, Bakit was uh, introduced into China in the 1960s, uh, about uh, 10 years after New China was founded. In the 1950s, uh, <coughs> Chinese scholars were so, busy, uh, were so uh, deeply involved in the reorganization of educational institutions. And, uh, <coughs> well, uh, Bucket uh, rose to fame in Europe in the 1960s. Uh, uh, <coughs> we uh, began to translate uh, his uh, masterwork, uh, <coughs> Waiting for Goddard. And uh, since his introduction into China, uh, there has been uh, uh, almost uh, 60 years. And uh, <coughs> there have been uh, several uh, papers on the Chinese uh, responsorship to him. Uh, <coughs> one, uh, one, uh, one of the most uh, striking essays on that is uh, chapter 8 of uh, this book. Um, <coughs> it is entitled The Reception of Summer Bucket in, in, in China. Uh, it is uh, rather uh, critical, yet uh, the focus is mainly on uh, waiting for Goddard. And the subtitle is almost uh, three Goddards and a half. So it uh, ignores uh, much of, uh, uh, much of uh, <coughs> uh, Bucket criticism in other aspects. And uh, <coughs> the Chinese uh, response to Samuel Bucket uh, and uh, its uh, Chinese version uh, were published uh, in recent years, and uh, they, are, they provide more relevant uh, criticism of Bucket in China. And uh, the trend of thought is uh, rather different. And uh, <coughs> Finally, two papers on uh, Bucket's uh, novels or dramas accepted in China. Um, <coughs> the, these last two papers uh, try to sum up uh, what achievements have been made or what uh, deficiencies there, there are in Bucket scholarship in China. They try to <coughs> um, sum up uh, the system of achievement or deficiency. And uh, <coughs> before uh, we, uh, we go, go on to talk about the translation history, I'd like to mention the four translation projects uh, briefly. First, uh, the <coughs> first monument is uh, the translation of Waiting for Goddard by Shi Xianrong or Xianrong Shi in 1965. It was a monumental. Uh, marking the beginning of a uh, bucket uh, <coughs> scholarship in China. And uh, the second uh, monument is a uh, five one and the collection of a bucket uh, translated by Chinese scholars of uh, French literature. And uh, the third uh, monumental, the transition, is the uh, publication of the, these uh, two novels uh, translated by me. Uh, by me. Uh, <coughs> Uh, the publication marked the transition from uh, individual translation to scale translation and from the translation of Abakit's French works into that of his English works. And uh, fourthly, the uh, 22 one and complete works of Abakit. Uh, <coughs> it is said to be the only truly complete works in the whole world uh, as uh, collections of Abakit's uh, works uh, uh, published in Europe were, uh, were produced by different uh, presses. And uh, finally, the work in progress is the translation of the letters of Abakit. Um, <coughs> it uh, will take us uh, a couple of years more to, uh, to have them uh, uh, published. And uh, <coughs> Uh, <coughs> uh, the first stage, uh, <coughs> according to me, the Chinese translation may be divided into four stages. The first stage uh, lasting from the 1960s to the 1980s. 
and the, the second stage from the 1990s to 2006, and the third stage from 2006 to 2016, and the last stage uh, from uh, <coughs> uh, 2016 until now. And uh, the humble beginning took place in the 1960s, marked by the translation of uh, Waiting for God by Xian Rong Shi, published by P uh, People's Literature Press. <coughs> Uh, you see, <coughs> the uh, the uh, old copy has a yellow uh, cover. Uh, the yellow cover of books uh, uh, books were <coughs> uh, produced as internal publications. That is, they were not meant for the general public to read, but for uh, only selected uh, <coughs> uh, scholars and uh, leaders of the scholastic uh, circles to read. And uh, such uh, yellow cover books uh, uh, are <coughs> were considered negative examples as they, will, uh, they, they, they would not tell us a, a positive uh, story of the Western world, but to educate uh, Chinese people how decadent the Western world was. You see, uh, it, it was uh, in the 1960s, uh, a time in the Cold World War. To win the Cold World War, uh, <coughs> literature may be put to political use. So it's, uh, it's uh, quite natural. And uh, so uh, this translation uh, is not good enough. Uh, it has been uh, circulated for many years. And uh, until recently, it uh, uh, has been... Uh, <coughs> put forward by the Chinese uh, Ministry of Education for all college students to, uh, students to read. <coughs> uh, <coughs> there are many problems in, in that translation. One, uh, one example <coughs> is uh, the translator Shi was not sensitive to the theatricality of Bucket's language. As in the 1960s, uh, no Chinese scholar had had any uh, specialized study of uh, Bucket. And uh, here, <coughs> in a short excerpt, uh, we can find at least uh, two uh, mistakes or defici deficiencies. Firstly, the, uh, the first nine charming evening we are having the original sentence uh, contains only seven syllables, but the Chinese translation, fourteen or, or fifteen syllables, the nine is uh, much longer. As uh, you see in uh, <coughs> the subtitles, must be concise enough as the scrim uh, is uh, limited in, in width, or the time for the protagonists to finish speaking that nine. Is limited. So, and the bucket is uh, so strict with uh, performances. See, <coughs> so uh, the translator is uh, not uh, concise enough. And uh, the second mistake or uh, deficiency is pantomime in the source text appears at the end of the nine, uh, making the transition uh, very smooth. And uh, the importance of uh, this uh, acceptalizing uh, not only what the two Trumps are talking about, but in how they are talking about, uh, about it. Well, in the Chinese translation, the word for pantomime appears in the middle. The transition is uh, rather awkward. Actually, uh, we, uh, the translator <coughs> may uh, <coughs> improved it into Okay, something like that. And a second uh, example is the one sentence the comment uh, by the Nobel Prize uh, Committee. Uh, <coughs> you see, the, the translation was done by someone of uh, Foreign Literature Institute and the Chinese Academy of Social Sciences. Uh, that uh, institute uh, was uh, a great authority in, in the Chinese circle of uh, foreign literature. Yet, uh, yet that translator <coughs> uh, was not good at English, probably. Uh, in uh, Bach translation, 
In back translation, uh, the sentence means <coughs> the sentence means that uh, Bucket has elevated uh, many modern men from the destitution of poverty. You see, <laughs> the sentence uh, is twisted. Uh, <coughs> until now, there, there have been only three translations, uh, three correct translations uh, circulated, yet uh, not as widely as a, as a wrong one. And uh, <coughs> what is uh, more uh, ironical is, uh, <coughs> is a conflict between Bucket as, as a decadent author and Bucket as a progressive author. As uh, <coughs> in, in the late 19, uh, uh, 1960s, as after Bucket was uh, accepted by the Western world, Chinese uh, leaders uh, thought that he must be a great author. And a great author must be a critical realist, a progressive author. And uh, well, uh, what, uh, what was uh, the pro uh, what was called the progressive literature uh, was uh, actually critical realist uh, literature that uh, that was written against uh, the the damned Western world. You see, or in which uh, the protagonists were fighting against uh, capitalism, or. Uh, calling for the liberation of the uh, uh, proletariat. So, uh, so, so since he, he was a great uh, author, he must be uh, pro progressive. So is that a translator uh, maybe uh, intentionally twisted the sentence? But uh, there appeared a conflict between Bucket as a decadent author and a progressive author. Who knows, <laughs> you see. And uh, the dramatic transition uh, <coughs> uh, took place in the 1980s, uh, shortly after China began to carry out the open door policy again. Uh, yet uh, Chinese uh, scholars were not well prepared to, to do more uh, researches or to translate more of his works. So uh, to satisfy uh, the, the great demand of the book market, they, have, uh, they had uh, there are few uh, translations uh, reprinted in several uh, collections. And the bucket introduced uh, several times in collections. <coughs> uh, in the 1980s, only uh, three of, his, uh, of Bucket's works, Happy Days, End Games, and Three Stories of him, uh, were reprinted. And uh, finally, uh, Proust. Uh, Bucket's uh, thesis was uh, translated. Uh, this uh, <coughs> uh, this uh, translation paved the way for the translation of the uh, collection, the first uh, collection, or the first uh, monument, the five one and the collection of a bucket uh, translated from. Uh, the Paris Midnight Edition. Uh, <coughs> it would have been a very uh, monumental uh, without such, uh, such deficiencies. Again, the, the translators uh, are <coughs> uh, scholars of uh, general French literature None of them uh, is, a, is a bucket scholar, so they actually uh, didn't understand bucket very profoundly, so they made a similar mistakes as Su did. Uh, one example is uh, Potter's uh, speech before that dialogue, and uh, so uh, <coughs> here. From the written uh, pronouns, uh, <coughs> we can know that uh, uh, that translator is uh, is not uh, concise in his uh, language. Uh, his uh, sentences are rather Europeanized. 
The translator was actually educated alone in Paris, so that his, uh, his Chinese language was uh, Europeanized. His uh, Chinese language, uh, uh, grammatically speaking, is like that of a uh, European language. So he does not know when to omit the subject. You see, in the Chinese language, we often omit the subject if the subject is obvious to both the addresser and the addressee. And when we refer back to the subject, we use 自己, oneself, rather than he or she or I. <coughs> we do not repeat the pronoun. And uh, <coughs> here, uh, Pota drawing himself up, striking his chest. So from the gesture, Didi and Gogo must know whom uh, Pota is referring to. And in such a context, we, uh, we needn't point out the subject. Yet uh, the translator <coughs> that says, Come on, look at me. Do I look like someone okay, uh, made to suffer? But in, in Chinese, we, we do not uh, put out I or me. So uh, in uh, this uh, translation, most of the uh, <coughs> uh, subjective uh, uh, cases or I can be omitted. So, so that the translation uh, is, uh, will be much uh, more concise. And uh, a second example is the beginning uh, three sentences of uh, the unnameable, probably the most difficult novel by Bakit. And uh, <coughs> the beginning uh, uh, three questions are very concise. We can shorten the Chinese uh, translation into etc. Okay, and. Uh, Secondly, I say I. Bucket doesn't say, say me. Because uh, I, as the speaking subject, cannot be e expressed in the, the objective case. Uh, because I here refers to the Cartesian subject. I think, therefore, I am. You see, the speaking subject. And uh, the translator does not understand its meaning. <coughs> and uh, call that, uh, call them that, keep going, uh, keep go, uh, going on, call that going, call that tongue. You see, here going and on are separated. And uh, since uh, going on is translated into uh, or something like that, we, uh, yeah, rather than xun su qian jing, go forward uh, quickly or, or uh, fastly. And uh, in uh, that tra translation, on and going uh, are reversed. Uh, we can uh, improve it into chen zi wei ji, chen zi wei xu, ji xu. And uh, Uh, stating in where instead of going out. Here, the translator says uh, I am trying to go away from home. This uh, key word is, uh, is a great uh, mistake, I think. As, uh, as in postmodernism, I has no home because I is defined by the other. I itself is empty. I has no home. So how can we say that I is trying to go away from home? So here is my translation. <coughs> and uh, the quick uh, climax <coughs> the, or the third stage uh, is uh, predicted by the translation or the publication of Murphy and Watt in the 11 Wonder collection published in 2012. And I do like uh, these uh, front covers. They are, they are much better, I think. 
And uh, <coughs> uh, I uh, put forward the idea of uh, tr uh, translating uh, these two novels uh, to the editor. Uh, as I found that all uh, of uh, Bakke's uh, French works uh, had been translated, yet uh, most of his English works remained to be translated. Uh, I thought it my duty to do that. So uh, the, the, that uh, translation, uh, the publication of that, uh, uh, those uh, two novels uh, paved the way for these uh, complete works. Uh, a big project, and uh, Joe now has got uh, a, a set. Yes. Yeah, uh, it is. Uh, it is our great glory. <laughs> and uh, <coughs> this uh, collection is uh, is of course uh, very very uh, difficult. Uh, it's too uh, difficult uh, or a demanding a uh, project for us to finish. Uh, <coughs> the hardest not to crack or the most uh, profound uh, uh, accepted to translate may be this uh, paragraph from uh, Dream of Fat Middling Women. Uh, <coughs> here, uh, Bucket quotes from uh, Chinese uh, culture or the legend of an Indian inventing chromatism or ancient Chinese music. Uh, this is uh, not actually an original uh, writing, but a very faithful uh, translation of uh, <coughs> uh, Lois, uh, Lalois's uh, French book, The Chinese Music. Uh, <coughs> Bucket uh, had uh, Lalois's uh, paragraph translated into English and put it in his uh, novel. He <coughs> He liked to put into his uh, novel whatever he had read extensively, just like his mentor James Joyce did, to show off his knowledge. Bucket was only 26 then. He tried to be as profound or as uh, mature uh, as quickly uh, as possible, like, uh, like his uh, mentor. So uh, he, he didn't mind if it was difficult to understand. <coughs> and uh, this uh, paragraph uh, is uh, very, very difficult to translate without uh, much knowledge of uh, ancient Chinese uh, music. And uh, <coughs> you see, the, the last uh, 12 uh, terms are actually uh, literal translations of the French terms and or the Chinese terms. And there are some grammatical mistakes here. Bucket uh, don't mind the mistakes. He, what he minded was the profundity of, he, of, uh, of him as a mature author. And uh, the sound of his own voice when he spoke uh, there is no Chinese uh, phrase in the source text. Uh, it is not a bucket to a mistake, but uh, a Lois uh, mistake. Uh, this, uh, <coughs> this phrase does not correspond with the yellow bell. Actually, uh, this phrase means the, ye the yellow bell, Huang Zhong Zi Gong. The basic pitch uh, according to which we can decide on um, other pitches, or something like that. So now uh, here is uh, the published uh, translation, uh, most uh, mostly based upon my translation. Uh, it is good enough. Uh, <coughs> yet uh, it will be very interesting uh, if we compare. Bucket's uh, text and uh, the translation and uh, the French source text. And also the very source we, uh, oh, <coughs> uh, we can find in the ancient Chinese encyclopedia, Mr. Lu's historical records, Lu Si Chun Qiu. This is uh, the very source. So uh, by comparing uh, this uh, text, we can 
know uh, what uh, gets lost in translation, or what uh, gets uh, twisted, or uh, <coughs> what mistakes uh, these uh, translators uh, make. It is uh, very, uh, very interesting. And uh, lastly, uh, the work in progress now is a translation of the letters of Sami Bakit. Uh, it's a huge project since uh, each one uh, has uh, around uh, 900 uh, pages. And it, uh, it has uh, taken me almost uh, four years to translate the first one. Uh, <coughs> yet uh, it is nothing compared with the 30 years uh, <laughs> Lois uh, uh, spent. <coughs> and uh, in uh, translating uh, one and one, uh, I forgot uh, much uh, experience. Uh, firstly, <coughs> uh, I put as many as 259 footnotes in the translation, explaining uh, or, or first explaining the uh, word games, the misspellings, or languages other than English or French. Or other or uh, special uh, sentence uh, features that uh, are well known to Westerners, yet not so to Chinese readers. Uh, <coughs> and uh, secondly, uh, Chinese uh, uh, Chinese as a paratactic language may play a very full role in the translation as uh, these letters were written impromptu. They, they were not uh, written or they were not uh, revised for publication. So, so that they, uh, they may contain uh, many uh, uh, gra uh, gra uh, some uh, grammatical mistakes or misspellings or, or any deficiencies uh, Bucket uh, made while writing in a hurry. And uh, <coughs> Chinese, and, uh, Chinese uh, is a uh, paratactic language uh, uh, in which <coughs> we prefer to use uh, simple short sentences or, um, <coughs> or um, uh, sentences without uh, subjunctive, uh, uh, sorry, how to say, conjunctions or something like that. And, uh, <coughs> And uh, to do that, uh, we use uh, we we pre uh, uh, prefer to use uh, loose sentences, uh, such as run-on sentences, subject uh, subjectless sentences, and uh, ba or uh, by constructions, uh, <coughs> which uh, may be used to render both the passive voice and the active voice, and uh, fragmentary sentences. Uh, as uh, sometimes a bucket uh, was in a hurry to to uh, to write a letter or to finish uh, uh, a, a note, he did not have enough time to write carefully or slowly. He <coughs> so uh, there are fragmentary sentences, and as to the misspellings, uh, we tend to use homophones or homographs. Uh, to imitate how a Chinese letter writer may make a mistake uh, using, uh, <coughs> using uh, words of a similar sound yet uh, of uh, different meanings. And uh, as to languages, other than English in, uh, in the letters, uh, <coughs> we so if, uh, if uh, such a phrases are uh, titles of books, we, we have them translated. And if not, we put it there intact. Uh, we, we, we put them there in the source text. That is, they, uh, they are not translated. Uh, firstly, because uh, they, are ex uh, they are explained in the notes. So we needn't do that. And uh, secondly, uh, Bucket uh, uh, or did so on purpose, uh, so so that uh, others or his father, his mother, 
might not understand him. Uh, he, his letters, uh, private letters, you see. And uh, certainly, uh, Bucket wrote such letters in the 1920s or 30s or 40s. In the same period as uh, pioneering Chinese uh, modern li literature also did in the 1920s or 30s. Uh, <coughs> there's, uh, Chinese pioneering authors uh, mostly got educated abroad or in Christian universities in China uh, so that they tended to use for foreign words or some uh, Europeanized sentences in their modern works. So by keeping these uh, phrases, uh, <coughs> uh, we may create a style similar to those pioneering authors, a mixture. <coughs> and just to address in terms, uh, to, to show uh, Bucket's uh, psychological distances to the addressees, we use uh, different uh, terms. Uh, for I, we may use 我 or, <coughs> or 老弟, 老兄, something like that, if, uh, if the addressee and the addressee are very close. Uh, one example, <coughs> okay, here, uh, a miss is about him, Mendelssohn, one letter is missing, and uh, the a standard trans, uh, a lit, a transliteration of Mendelssohn is Man de, uh, song. Yet uh, this uh, letter is missing, and uh, here one part, the left part of the Chinese character song is missing to imitate uh, the loss of uh, S. Yeah, yet uh, the, the other part of song is pronounced uh, gong. The pronunciation is uh, rather similar, and uh, so uh, sometimes if, if if we are in a hurry, we may scribble such a character. <coughs> and uh, secondly, party fucking, for party uh, party fucking, okay. And uh, here I used uh, ci rather uh, to re to refer to. This one, c deficiency, or this one of uh, means uh, fascinated. The two characters look like uh, each other. You see, they 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 are so alike in form and pronunciation. We may uh, ch ch native speakers may may write such uh, you know, okay uh, such uh, <coughs> uh, wrong words. Okay, uh, shut up on and wind up. Uh, Chattel and windows. Uh, we uh, used uh, some uh, dirty words here. Okay, that's uh, it's, uh, quite interesting to, to uh, produce a uh, bucket, uh, bucket style. <coughs> And uh, as to the transition, uh, <coughs> the first st stage uh, was uh, d decided by this uh, document, government document, Eight Rules for Arts. Uh, <coughs> so uh, Bucket as, uh, <coughs> was taken as a re uh, reactionary author or decadent author and we should uh, uh, criticize him as an, a negative example to educate our people. And uh, inf under the influence of that document, uh, Chinese uh, critics uh, kept on saying, okay, for example, Dong. He said, Bakit is a decadent Western dramatist presents a totally pessimistic world view and a, a vicious denigration of the world's progressive forces. And this uh, comment uh, lay, uh, set the keynote for the 30 years to come, as uh, he was uh, an authority in the Chinese Academy of Social Sciences. 
And in the 1980s, uh, China began to be open, uh, to, to open to the Western world, and the Chinese scholars must transit. So they learned from Marxist dialectics and changed their comments a little. So though uh, their, their essays are mostly about uh, Bucket's achievements, at the end of their essays they must say, On the one hand, Bucket reflects the reality of the Western society, and this is a negative and inadvisable. Yet, on the other hand, he seems somewhat positive, because objectively, a nightmare awakens people sooner. Chinese critics uh, tried to balance, you see. <coughs> so uh, this uh, uh, such uh, a dialectic uh, thinking uh, marked a great transition, actually. And, uh, <coughs> and uh, the, uh, the, <coughs> the transition uh, appeared in the 1990s. Uh, and, uh, the transition, uh, in, in essence, the transition is actually an inward term, I think. Chinese scholars have been able to cover a, so a solitary niche for themselves. That is uh, an ivory tower set, uh, sealed of politics. And uh, Bucket uh, is a uh, political, a uh, historical, so that he's uh, quite uh, a quite safe a subject or a topic in China, uh, as uh, critics uh, may not uh, discuss him in political terms. So, this is the inward term. Thank you so much. Thank you. <clears throat>